I will find a way. I promise. Edward is engaged to marry Lucy Steele. How long have you known? Since the night Mrs. Jennings offered to take us to London. Why didn't you tell me? Lucy told me in the strictest of confidence. I could not break my word. Clearly, there is no point in arguing. But Edward loves you. He made me no promises. He tried to tell me about Lucy. He cannot marry her. Would you have him treat her even worse than Willoughby had treated you? No, but nor would I have him marry who he does not love. Edward made his promise a long time ago, long before he met me. And though he may harbor some regret, I believe he will be happy in the knowledge that he did his duty and kept his word. After all, after all that is bewitching the idea of one's happiness entirely depending on one person, it is not always possible. We must accept. Edward will marry Lucy, and you and I will go home. Always resignation and acceptance. Always prudence and honor and duty. Eleanor, where is your heart? What do you know of my heart? What do you know of anything but your own suffering? For weeks, Marianne, I have had this pressing on me without being able to speak of it to a single creature. It was forced upon me by the very person whose prior claims meant all my hopes. I have had to endure her exaltation again and again, while knowing myself to be divided from Edward forever. Believe me, Marianne, had I not been bound to silence, I would have produced enough proof of a broken heart, even for you. Mama.